you know, I love what I do. And I knew when I was graduating from college that I wasn't going to go into fashion. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't going to be a textile artist creating, you know, art for malls and things like that. And I had to work in an industry, but I had no idea. And my mom and dad were like, well, what job are you going to get? How are you going to work in the textile industry? They didn't mind that I was an artist, but, you know, what does it mean? And I said, I don't know. And, and then I, you know, I started thinking, oh, what am I going to do? And then my mom, so she had all these magazines, interiors magazines. So I started looking through them and I saw these textile companies that, that were advertising and I'm like, that's what I can do. My work actually looks like that person's work. They'll, they'll hire me. And that's what I did. I called all those companies from, and you know, a lot of them were like, well, we don't hire weavers from Iowa. But you know what? I just thought, you know, I could do that. I could work in a business like that setting. And, um, and that's what I did. It was just like, you know, the thing is, is one thing led into the next. And when things are easy, you're on the right track. When things are not easy, for, in any stretch of the imagination, if things are not easy, something is not right. We all know that, you know, like, it just is the phenomenon of nature. You know, nature's organizing powers are really strong, and they either make it really easy, or you're, you know, struggling. And when you struggle is when you have to go, okay, maybe I need to go another path. This is not working for me. But you have to pay attention to that. We're meant to be happy. Happy is the key. You know, if, if you're happy, everything just falls together.